Hey everyone, how's it going? This is your boy Tech Expo here, bringing you another video of another Tesla. So we came across this Tesla Model S, just came off the assembly line from the Fremont factory in California. So this Model S is the latest Model S with the refresh interior. From the rear, it looks essentially identical to that of the black version of the Model S, just missing that carbon fiber spoiler. The wheels are the same, except for the width, and we'll talk about that in a moment. The interior is exactly the same as the Platt model. This is a refresh with the York steering wheel. And as you can see, the profile of the front is slightly different. It resembles more of the Model 3 and X with those fog lights and air ducts into the front wheels. These are 265-35ZR21 by Michelin cup tires. It is slightly narrower than the Platt model. The Platt model has 285s in the front and 295s in the rear. Headlights look similar to the previous version of the Model S. So it doesn't look like anything changed there. And from the side profile, it does look like the front extend out slightly more than the previous version. So you got to be careful of that when you enter in curves. Or the camera does extend a protrude out maybe a quarter of an inch further. That's because the rear fender is a lot wider than the previous version of the Model S. So it doesn't matter you have the long range or the plat model. The body with the wide body fenders are the same. From the rear, you can't really tell other than the, the gloss blackout of all the chromes except for the T. And the rear lights looks to be exactly the same as the previous version of the Model S. So not much change exterior wise, but significant change interior. So the interior looks more identical to that of a Model a, a Model Y and a Model 3 with that um, display in the middle now flip over. You still have your odometer display in the front. And again, these wheels looks identical to that of the Platt model. It's just narrower. The Platt is a lot wider, both in the front and the rear. Front being 285s and the rear 295s. So it has a lot more traction and it needs it with all that torque and power. It still does have adapted high beam, auto high beam. I don't see any projection projectile lights like in the Model Y or the Model 3 updated headlights. It's nice to see the chrome delete and I, I prefer this gloss chrome delete over the matte one of the Y and the 3. It just looks more premium. Um, same thing with door handles and the rear chrome um, trim bar. So again, this vehicle just came off the assembly line, brand new, just a few going? miles on the odometer. And it looks fantastic. The panel gaps and any misalignment, I, I just don't see that in this refresh model, the Model S. It's just not there. They really refined this Model S. Took them a few years. I mean, this Model S came out in 2012, so it was almost a decade. And the design hasn't changed that much. The interior definitely needed that refresh and it got it now so if you're on the market for a model s or x definitely use the link in the uh, in the description of this video it will give you some supercharging credit 
and I think for the value that you're getting with this vehicle, this will get you 405 miles per EPA with um, the other wheels, though the, uh, the aero, more aerodynamic wheels. These 21 inch wheels will reduce you down to 375 EPA rated range. And of course that's at 65 miles per hour on the highway, assuming uh, temperature, wind condition is all optimal. So again, this does have the new suspension, the adapted air suspension. And I believe it also has other data, just like the plat model. So from 12 feet away and beyond, just throw a carbon fiber spoiler in this vehicle, debadge it, and people will just assume this is the plat model. And people that's not What's in the on? know. Um, you really can't tell unless you go up and look at the tires and see how wide they are. That's the only way. If somebody throw a carbon fiber spoiler on this Model S long range, and if they just throw a badge on their plat or even debadge it, you really can't tell the difference unless you look at the tire or you have access to the interior and go into the user menu. Otherwise, there's no difference between this long range and the plat model. Same body, same width. And with that, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're on the market for a Tesla. And if this video helped you decide to get a Tesla, whether it's your next Tesla or a new Tesla for your first vehicle from Tesla, use the link in the description of this video. It will get you some free supercharging credit will help you out and us out at the same time. Catch you all next time. Cheers.